You're watching WMBD This Morning. Welcome back. Central Illinois Reads has a big visitor coming tomorrow night. That's right, and she's coming to cover a myriad of topics. And here to tell us who's coming and what the evening entails is the program manager and head of Central Illinois Reads, Alice Johnson. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so we have to know. Who is tomorrow's <laughs> guest of honor? So we have um, Lori Holtz Anderson coming tomorrow night and she, um, New York Times bestseller, uh, multiple award winner, multiple award nominee, um, I mean, too many to name. Mm -hmm. um, but she, she's um, the author of Speak. I love that Which book. is um, pretty famous mm -hmm. um, <laughs> around the world actually. Uh, she just actually won, we were supposed to have her back in April and she won a major award and wow. so we had to push her visit back to August so here we have her coming um, tomorrow night. That's so uh -huh. exciting. Yeah. yeah, big deal there. I'm going to yes. say she's a big a big fan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, yeah. yes, very big. good, very good, yeah. So what will be the topic of discussion for tomorrow night? So um, Central Illinois Reads this year has been all about the freedom to read. Mm -hmm. um, we've focused on challenged and banned books um, and so she, Lori is kind of the front runner on some of her books being challenged and banned and so she's going to tackle that topic which is not an easy one as we all know um, but she tackles it with sensitivity and humor and uh, just she's just all an all-around great person so uh, so basically freedom to read that's the bottom line. So well, with that being said how are book banning how is book banning affecting Central Illinois and what is Central Illinois Reads doing to fight against that? So we've we have been lucky knock, knock on wood um, we haven't had a lot of challenges um, locally uh, I can't explain it why <laughs> but that's great um, so we're just as, as a committee making sure we get the word out um, about the freedom to read and to be able to make your own choices what you want to read um, whether that's parents with children or adults for themselves whatever the case may be um, we feel that our job is just to get the word out there to say hey make your make your own decisions and don't tell other people what they can or can't read mm -hmm. right, very yeah, good yeah. obviously we want people to come out yes and support <laughs> you all yes. so can you give us a rundown of, let's say, is there is there tickets or can people just show up or like was the wind, the yeah. where? All yeah, that? so completely free, open to anybody. Uh, Tuesday evening at our main library downtown, 6.30 is when we'll start. Uh, she'll talk for about an hour-ish, um, do questions and whatnot. And then we also have um, two of her books for sale that they're only $10 a piece, oh, so wow. it's a bargain. <laughs> $10 a piece, cash or check and um, I, that's, I mean, that's basically the rundown. Um, free parking, so don't worry about the meters tomorrow night. Oh, okay, that's always <laughs> we a love it. it is. <laughs> yes. Is there like a specific audience you're targeting? Um, we say anybody, really. Um, it, it, <laughs> some of the topics in our books, or maybe for a little of a, a older child, older middle school up into high school right. age, mm -hmm. but really, it's open to anybody. The message is good for all ages. Perfect. Right. Very yeah. good. Well, Alice, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're welcome. Thank you. Absolutely. And as always, we'll share these details up on our website, caproud.com.